What's going on everyone and welcome back to Knife Life EDC. Got a first impressions for you. It's a knife that's pretty popular but there's been a few variations out there of it. And here's a new one that I kind of just, I think it just came out recently. I'm, they're not like, I can't remember when it came out. But I think it's pretty recent because I haven't seen anything on them. But um, I saw someone do a review on it and I had to have one. But um, plus I just wanted to check it out because I haven't had any Boss D knives. I really like what they do with their cases. Like that's... Like a little tin aluminum case type thing. That's just kind of cool to me. Kind of cool little presentation from them. So that kind of earns them some points right there. But this is going to be the Boss Deed Raccoon. Um, it's got a couple little stickers, I guess. Yeah, it's a little sticker, I guess. Card. Boss Deed Support. That's kind of cool. This is kind of cool, too. I've seen people with these. Like the little, little morale patch type thing. Obviously a cloth, which is pretty cool. Like you never have enough of those. And this is just the material and oh, information. That's pretty cool. I like that. So that's pretty cool. I think that's kind of nice that they gave you all the information instead of letting you guess later down the road or having to look everything up. It kind of just gives everything to you. I wonder if this is a patch too. Oh, that's kind of cool too. I thought it kind of looked like one, but it's also kind of like a little patch. It's cool. I like that. Well, like I said, this is the Vostede Raccoon, um, and it is the Axis slash Crossbar Bar uh, Clutch Lock. I don't know. This is, I can't remember. I, I have, does it even say on the card? Let's look at the card. It does not say. What is it? Oh, I guess just Crossbar. Okay, so this is just Crossbar Lock. Cool. That keeps it simple. Um, I kind of been wanting one of these. I almost bought the button lock a while back, but then I heard they were having problems with them. I think. I think. I think it was the button lock with the the spine, like the spine, and then it like just folding up on you and everything after you hit it. Um, I thought I heard they fixed those, but um, I like I like the crossbar locks. I, I that's kind of my thing. I just really like those. They're one of my favorites. Um, I do like button locks also. I will probably get one just like this, except the button lock and with the green micarta. Um, this is black micarta, obviously. It's pretty smooth. Not bad. Feels pretty good. It almost doesn't feel like micarta, though, either. It kind of, like I said, it's pretty smooth. It almost feels like G10 in a way, but it's not. It feels good, though. I like it. Um, it is 14C. Here, let's, there you go. 14C, 28N. Um, not too bad. I like it, like it. Um, I don't know about that. Let's do that again. Huh. Kind of, uh, I might just need broken. A little sticky. Let's do it this way. Honestly, it feels really dry. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, I can't really reverse flip that well. Obviously, I can get it open with my thumb. There we go. Maybe I just, maybe I'm being a weenie. I don't know. Some of it's got oil on it because my hands are getting kind of greased up a little bit. I don't know what's going on, but it, it doesn't shut too bad. But like I said, it feels like it just needs a little, a little KPL. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if it does anything for it. So I, I usually just put a little bit on there, maybe a little drop or two though, put different places. Kind of just get it worked down a little bit. Obviously, I'm a big fan of like the Kaiser Drop Bear, so that's why I always. It's kind of unfair advantage, I guess, because I feel like the clutch lock on the cross bear, uh, cross bear, the clutch lock on the drop bear, is is I, I think the best crossbar lock, and that's just an awesome knife. I love those knives. It's probably one of my favorites. It does actually open up a little better now. Maybe it was rubbing on it a little bit or something. I don't know. But um, it definitely feels pretty good. I've seen a lot of people's videos on these. And I think originally I saw the... Who was it? His channel is Surviving the Daily. Um, I remember seeing his video with the his... Cro I don't know if he had a button lock or... I think he might have had a button lock. I can't remember what he had. To be honest, because it's been a while. But um, 
I was a big fan of it, and after seeing his video and everything like that, and he seemed like a pretty big fan of it, and he's got some good videos. You guys should probably go check him out too, Surviving the Daily. But um, after that, I kind of decided I wanted to get one. I just hadn't done it yet. But um, because the spine lock problem, the spine problem where it was kind of you tap it and it flips up and everything like that. So that kind of turned me off for a little bit. But um, once I started hearing there here and they were working on that and everything, like I kind of thought I'd give them a try. But um. So I, this is a pretty solid knife. I think it was only 57 bucks on Amazon. They have a few different variations of colors and stuff like that. Um, great handles. I like the handle. I like this little divot right here where you can get your little your finger right there dug into it. It is a deep carry. It's not... I have problems comparing, <laughs> saying these are deep carry. They are considered, I guess, deep carry because they are pretty deep in your pocket. But um, I consider deep carry like the pocket clip being flush right here with the end of the knife. I like that. That's just what I prefer. I don't really like a whole lot sticking out. But um, it is a tip-up deep carry pocket clip. Um, if you can see, the screws and the the pocket clip are both recessed into the, the handle, which is also um, ambidextrous, which is nice. Mm. Pocket clip seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem too bad. I do like how it obviously just flips up and doesn't like just do the duck bill thing and straight across after that. Um, does have your lanyard holes for all you lanyard people out there. I'm still thinking about putting one on a knife. Maybe it'll be this one. I don't know. I have a couple lanyards. I might try them out. This is a little greasy. I don't know where it's greasy at. I keep feel like I get a little bit on me somewhere, but I do like the pivot, the uh, the pivot screw and pin and everything like that. Um, I like how it's only on one side. The pivot screw. I had a couple knives that there. You have like places to put two. I don't know or like a the screw on each side. I don't know if that's a normal thing for people or like companies or if that's supposed to be better for like maybe getting the, the knife centered and everything. I'm not sure about that. I'm really kind of curious. I might check that out and YouTube that or Google it and see what people say. But um, it is only got one screw on this side. It is not like it does poke out a little bit on both sides. You guys can see right there. Not too bad. I don't think you're going to get snagged or anything obviously. Um, thuds, thumb studs are great. They work really well on both sides. Love it. I really like this knife. I'm a little fanboy now. Um, like I said, this feels great. Got your nice little choil there. You might be able to choke up a little bit. Maybe not too far because I'm sure you're not going to go go too far up and get cut. Um, jimping's not too bad. It's all right. I'm a big, like I said, I'm a Kaiser fanboy for jimping. But um, another reason I wanted to buy this is because I heard they were coming out with a mini raccoon. So as soon as that comes out, I'm probably going to get that because I'm I like those little little type knives for like EDC pouches because I have my Civivi um, Mini Praxis in my pouch right now, and that's why I really like those mini type knives. And I think that'll be a perfect knife for the pouch too. But once that comes out, it's in prototype right now. I don't know when it's coming out. I saw a review on it or not a review, but someone like just going over it. I think it was Bees Blades, um, another great channel. Check him out, Bees Blades. But um, great knife overall. I give it a. Solid 9 out of 10 for especially being a budget, uh, budget blade. But um, I'm definitely going to be carrying it too. I do like the little emblem they have right there too. Not too gaudy and everything like that. But yeah, it's, this is a really solid blade. It's perfect size for me. And I, I don't know. Check it out. Not too bad. Like I said, I think it's $57. So it's a little up there on the price. But um, not too bad. I, I wouldn't say too bad. I also did get something new in the mail also today, and it is a new strope. This is just going to go over this just real quick. I'm pretty excited about this. I just got a cheap one for right now because I didn't want to go expensive, spend lots of money. But um, it has a suede side, and it also has your obviously your leather side. And you have your green and your, your white. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, compounds. They're called compounds. Oil based. But um, I think the white was for more coarse, like knives that need a little more work and everything like that. But I'll probably obviously be uh, just using the green. And I'm pretty excited about this because I only have like the tiniest of tiny strokes. So this will be a lot nicer to do. I won't have to try to look stupid trying to strope something on like a little half inch wide, three inch long thing or whatever. So hopefully I can get my knives pretty, pretty cut up in shape. But um, if you guys have any questions on this or any comments, obviously, I'd love to hear them. Um, I would love to hear you guys' comments on the uh, the raccoon, like if you guys had any problems with the spine where it was busting in or whatever after you hit it. 
Um, I haven't heard anything about the crossbar lock yet, so if you guys have heard anything, obviously I'd love to hear about it and let me know. But if you like the video, obviously subscribe, or not subscribe, give a thumbs up if you like the video. But hey, if you want to subscribe, I'm happy with that too. But if you guys like the video, let's obviously give a, th uh, give a thumbs up and um, have a blessed day.